Chelsea Grin, Evolve. EP just came out today, which is uh, Wednesday, June 19th. It's a Tuesday, 2012. Um, it's the new album from the oh, Deathcore, the Deathcore Act. Chelsea Grin, like Zach said, um, has five new tracks and a re-recording of the Human Condition from their first uh, album, Desolation of Eden. If you are a fan of that. Which yeah. you're probably not, and the joke's on you now. But, but that track is only on the physical copies of this record. Not the rock copies. Yeah, so let's get into it. Can I start? Whatever you want. Sure. Alright. So, obviously the big topic that's brought upon Chelsea Grin nowadays, Jason Richardson, Sam's favorite guitar player ever created. The topic of the day. Now let's get one thing straight. Everything Jason Richardson touches touch goes to gold. That's just a fact. Yeah. You have to admit it. And looking at this or listening to this album and looking back on the discovery, I can really tell Jason Richardson did a lot for Born with Cyrus. A lot well, everyone jizzes all over him, but he did a, like you can just go back and tell like over the production, some of the chord progressions, it's definitely Jason Richardson. He jizzed on the album just as much as he made a baby with this one. Um, let's get into it. There's five tracks. The first I said one, that. Well, shall I said it again, you oh. douche. Oh, okay. Um, that's cool. Lilith, the first single that came out. Let's talk about that. So, basically, this is the first track that everyone heard the clean vocals in, and it made everyone's jaw drop. What is that? Something else you hate? No. <laughs> Laughing. Never mind, stop, just I'll continue. Just up. All right, that's the first track that everyone heard the clean vocals in, and it came, and everyone just had jaws drop because if you listen to this band since the first EP, no one ever thought this band would go in this direction. Even if you just listened to this band when My Damnation now came out, you wouldn't have said, wow, I, don't, I could never see this band doing this. It's, and it's just, it made my jaw drop, I'll tell you that. But Basically, the clean vocals, like I said, added a huge addition. You can tell there's like symphonic elements in this. I'll get into that more later. They, they're, they're, it's just like this evolve. The EP title really fits this. Obviously, this band has just evolved into some chaotic deathcore monster that is very, very talented. And one thing I will say is everyone that talks shit on this band, the jokes on you because you probably like them now. But, um, yeah, the second coming, that's this one, right? Yeah, this is Shots. Alright, let's talk about Shots since this one's on. Yeah, so, well, first I'll get into what I think about the whole entire production aspect of this record. Um, I'll, my opinion is there's just so much overproduction on this. And I, it doesn't, like, kill it for me. I enjoy this out, like, EP a lot. But it, I don't know. It, it's just way overproduced, in my opinion. Not so, and like Chelsea Grin being overproduced is not wasn't something I was looking forward to. But it, I mean, it adds something like the symphonic stuff. That's really awesome. But I feel like at some parts, the symphonic stuff over the actual music is sort of not in a bad way, but it takes away, and it and it's just more like two different things at the same time. I don't know how to explain. It. And that's just some parts, not the whole entire album. I like the symphonic stuff leading up, like right when you pop this in, and then like right between the second coming and Lilith, just that build up, like right in the beginning of Lilith, that's awesome. Um, and then Jason Richardson, again, uh, the guitar solos, I don't think we'll, that's probably the main thing we'll be talking about me and Tyler since we play guitar and probably sing it too. Well, he doesn't like Jason Richardson that much as the old guy, but... The guitar solo is like it's Jason Richardson. He, there's like no one ever would have thought Chelsea Grinnett would have like neoclassical influenced guitar solos in that album. And that's just one thing that one other thing that made my jaw drop. Um, don't ask, don't tell. That song, I guess that's the big track. Sam was saying that song is just beautiful. It's amazing. It's like almost every aspect of metal combined and just. I don't care what you think about that statement. 
It has a brutality, it has a melodic, beautiful parts, it has a clean vocals, it has a harsh vocals. Everything you want to hear if you like heavy music in general, in my opinion. Um, just the like background ooze, I guess you can call them. That that just adds so much to that track. Um, but like I said before, the overproduction cut I feel like if that wasn't as overproduced, that could have been such a better track. I don't know, it really reminded me of a band called In Dying Arms. Like that's what like it made me think of. Like if you like that song, definitely check get, check out a band called In Dying Arms. They're, <coughs> sorry. They're like a smaller deathcore band from Baltimore. They're on Matchless Records, which is a smaller record label. I think that branches off from Artery, right? Sure. Uh, I'm guessing, correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, if you like that track, definitely check out In Dying Arms. But anyway. It, like I said, it's melodic, it's heavy, it has all those elements that you combine into it. Just, it's a perfect song in my opinion. But, I'm gonna let these guys take it from here, but to wrap it up... Uh... Okay, I think it was nice. But, I, f I really enjoyed this EP, I thought it was amazing. It made my jaw drop, like I said, for the third time. And sh if, you, if you want something that's new and refreshing, just buy this EP. Even if you, like, hate Chelsea Grin, if you just like sit in a cave and listen to black metal all day, check out the CD. Like seriously, it's a, it's a good listen. Um, like again, the, I feel like it's overproduced, but I still enjoy it. I still like it a lot. Everything Jason Richardson touches it turns into gold. Therefore, Chelsea Green, this album is probably one of my favorites. It's in the top five of the year so far. Um, yeah, I enjoyed this EP even. When I first listened to it, I thought this is pretty slamming, but there's one track I just can't seem to really get fully into, and that is the track Shots. I just don't understand why. I've listened to it a few times, and I just can't get into it. It just doesn't click with me. If I can add one um, thing. The GJ, DJ turntable things, that's retarded. I have no idea why they put that in there. That just ruined that part. I feel like... The su if, you, if you've listened to Suicide Silence's new album, that this, like just the way the game chant vocals are and the way that vocal style, like the vocal line is more, like said, it really reminds me of Suicide Silence and kind of going like on the mainstream side. But I still enjoyed it, but yeah, continue. Um, yeah. But the track, Confession, is absolutely amazing. Um, that chorus is killer, it's catchy. <laughs> um, and Ale I love Alex's style of vocal on that. It's kind of different. It's kind of like a, I don't even know how to really describe it, but it's just, it's a different, little tiny different added twist that Alex continues to add to his wide range of vocals. Um, and he kind of continues the vocals use from, that he started to use on My Damnation uh, with the, you know, the brutal lows, the really, the changed highs that make him just stand out even more as a vocalist. Um, and then there's the added addition of clean vocals, which come in to play on Don't Ask, Don't Tell and Lilith, uh, and both are used in tremendously amazing ways. Um, they're just amazing. Um, the clean vocals make don't ask, don't tell my favorite track off of here. Um, and then Jason Richardson's guitar playing, um, it's just, it's such a nice touch to this band. Not, I've always liked Chelsea Green's guitar playing. It always gets better and better with everything that they do. Uh, um, not that Jason is the only guitar player in this band now, and he's the only one that writes material. You can still tell that yeah. he, that he just, he, when he came in, he just took this band's guitar playing to a whole different level, but they still use those same crushing breakdowns that Chelsea Green is known for. And, you know, they, the, the riffs just got a little bit more technical. Um, sometimes they're still kind of that, like, groovy, kind of just palm-muted, brutal riffs. Uh, I think the good example of that is in Lilith. Um, the, kind of the beginning of it, you'll you'll know what I mean when you listen to that, and if you've listened to Chelsea Green prior. Um, but his solos are just outrageously amazing. Um, 
it's kind of and they his solos even still have that kind of Born of Osiris sound to them yeah, that they had on that Born of Osiris had on Discovery, which I love. And I just think that just really makes his band go to the next level. Um, in 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 the harmonies with the guitars are great. I just flat out love the guitar work on this album. This is Chelsea Grin's best guitar work to date. Um, the the drumming is still fantastic. I'm sad that he left the band because he's he's a, one of the most overrated, underrated. I mean, uh, deathcore drummers. Um, I'm just really looking forward to the full length that they're going to put out eventually because this just I listen to this and then I'm just like damn it's over this is only about a 20 minute EP and then I just want more I want to hear more songs I want to hear the the wide range of uh, material that Chelsea Green's just writing now. Every song's just different from one another, and I really, really enjoy that. I'm, uh, this band just gets better and better with everything that they do. Um, I still don't like this as much as My Damnation, just simply because this is only an EP. I know that might just sound stupid. I just want more songs here. Um, but this is this is a great EP. If you like Chelsea Green, check this out. If you just like Deathcore, check this out. If you just like music in general, you should check this out. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed this, but... Right. Um, first of all, about this EP, um, they have a different lineup from Desolation Mean and Damnation, which they've had, they had that lineup for a couple of years, but uh, unfortunately Michael Stafford left because he got tired of touring and everything, because it's a, it's a big hassle and everything, but... Um, then, uh, I think before, right before the EP was released, Andrew left the band. And he's not credited in the, uh, in the, you get the physical copy, he's not credited for the drums, but he's, he still did the drums on there. Um, let's see, where to begin? Uh, I think the second coming, I kind of like the intro to it, that sort of, uh, what do you call it, symphonic, but yeah, I guess symphonic, um, intro to it. I thought that was I thought it was kind of cool and it built, it built into the song. It was a good start for the second I mean, the second album the second coming. Uh, I thought it was a good start for the EP. I thought it was like alright, I hear this, because I just listened to it today. Today was the first time I listened to it. But listening to it, I'm thinking, oh, this is a good start to it. It's a good start. Then um, Lilith came on. Uh, I had some minutes for Lilith, but uh, Lilith, I thought it was a pretty cool, cool song. Um, it was a track that was released before the EP came out, and these guys said it. Um, it was the first Chelsea Grin song ever featured at Queens. Um, I was, at first, I was like, I was thinking, is this Alex? Because, like, I've never heard him do any Queens before. Can he do Queens? Like, I thought if he could have done Queens, he might have done before, but I was thinking, Man, I was, I'm really wondering who does the cleans on this, because these are really well. I think those are really good cleans that he did with Lilith. And uh, I wasn't, I wouldn't be surprised if it was him, because I know Adam from Oceano, he has a great singing voice, uh, let alone, you know, when he's not doing his screams and such, his brutalness. You know, I thought, well, I wouldn't be surprised if it was Alex. Which it, Adam you know, has a funky voice. Yeah. I still think it's pretty cool, but you know, I wouldn't be surprised if it was Alex and it turned out to be him. It's pretty cool. The song meaning and the lyrics are really cool. Um, it really gave an example of what was to come with uh, Evolve. And uh, now I'm gonna, well, next was sh Shot, sh Society Hides Our Truths. I thought it was cool. It had a very uh, different sort of beat to it rather than anything off of My Damnation. It's a very, very different beat to it. I, I thought it was alright. Um, I didn't, usually with me, I, I get an album or an EP, I have to listen to it like over a couple of times before I really like get my analysis of everything. And I listened to it about one and a half times I guess. But um, so far I think uh, Shot was alright. Um, Confession, 
I like that song. I like the breakdown at the end. I thought it was really cool. It gives a like that old Chelsea Green kind of feel, and it has some, has some really great lyrics. I really enjoy the lyrics to that. And um, the biggest track, which I've heard people talking about a lot, "Don't Ask, Don't Tell," I thought it was very, very uh, different to say the least. I guess I thought it was a good song. It was very uh, light and just relaxing at parts, and then it has its uh, brutal moments, which I guess Alex gave this track by track thing before, like bands do sometimes. Is this song is about drug addiction, like the the ups and then the downs of it, I guess, where you see with the, um, whatever you call that, the dynamics of the song and whatnot, and all that stuff, and the tempo, and got all that music stuff in it. But um, a lot of people are saying this is by far the best track they've ever heard Chelsea Green release. Like, I've heard like people say it like uh, before it came out, when it first leaked and stuff, any time I went to read about it, I thought, like, oh, I wonder what this... This track is, I wonder what it's all about, you know, I hear people say it's by far the really great guitar work, one of the best tracks I've ever put out. I thought it was cool, but it was good and all, it's just people were making it out, making out to be like the best, and I agree with Zach on some parts, like the uh, production of it kind of really put a damper on some parts of it, and I'm thinking this could have been so much better if they would have just chilled out with that. But I thought I thought it was a pretty good track. Um, like I said, I'll have to listen to it over and over again. So this is definitely not my final opinion on the EP. But um, the biggest change so far that I've noticed is Jason Richardson single-handedly took away the simplicity of this band that you got in Desolation of Eden, the very slow, brutal, just simple leads and simple guitar work that is very, very good. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm not saying simple is bad. But he took away the simplicity. You think, uh, like, My Damnation even, you get these slow, kind of really good parts that are just really cool. Jason just came in and has these, he's all over the place with the guitar. Like, he's up there and down there. He's everywhere. He's, he's over in Australia, too. And then he's over in the United States at the same time. But um, he's just, he took away his simplicity, I think. And he did bring that Born of Osiris influence that he had with them. And um, I thought it was all right. Um, by far, he is not the only member of this band. I think Jake, had, I know Jake has had a lot, a lot to do with writing this album. I read that uh, Jake and Dan, especially Jake, has had a huge play in writing this album, more so than Jason. He just brought some of his influence and everything. But um, I know Jake has great skills. Um, he's a great guitarist, very underrated, I think. Um, Andrew, I love his technique and his, his double bass styles, how they follow the rhythm and everything. Just He's a very good drummer that you'll hear on the past albums. I just love. Um, Alex, I think his highest were a little more tamed, in my opinion. Yeah. I, I feel like he really got a grip on how to control them. Like, yeah, especially some, like a hyena. Yeah, sometimes, like, he has, like, this really good control on him. Like, I love how he goes low, and he can kind of build, and, like, he really has this good control on him. He ha really has a grip on him. He knows how to handle him and everything. Um, uh, David's a good bassist. What can I say? Bassists are always bassists. No offense to him. But um, I really, really, really love Michael Stafford, and I really appreciate all the work he's done with Chelsea Green in the past, especially My Damnation, my favorite album, maybe of all time, Desolation of Eden, one of my favorite albums. Um, this is just very different. I will someday get into this, but as of right now, I'm really missing Michael. I'm, I'm not saying Jason's bad. By all means, he's not a bad guitarist. He's very talented. But he is not the only member of this band, and he is not this band. Then I will just like to see where he goes in the future with them, and I hope that, uh, I hope the best for him in this band, if he decides to stay in this band. Because, you know, maybe in a year he'll go to another band. Ha ha ha. 
what he's always done. But honestly, I think he's a very talented and good guitarist. And this album is 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 genuinely good. Out EP. Scores or last thoughts. <laughs> the really quick, the high vocals on the re-recording of Human Condition are pretty much the same as Desolation Reading. You can just got a beefy production and more harmonies. You can tell the difference between the lows and stuff, like Sam was saying, remember 14. Yeah. You play it with all checkers. Um someone told me that today, but you, you can tell by what I mean by taking away the simplicity. The human condition is by all means not a really simple song. But uh, you can tell Jason really put his twist on it when you, when you just hit the beginning of the uh, sweeping part going through. Scores. I'd give it 8 out of 10. 7.75 out of 10. 8.25 out of 10. 